Yo, what is good everybody and thank you so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust Wild Honey. So I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. I had no intention of filming because Gabby and myself did make this Hi. commitment to relaxation. And uh, yeah, that's essentially what uh, this whole trip has been about. We're here in sunny, gorgeous, beautiful, and San relaxing San Diego. Anyways, guys, thank you so much to everybody who suggested all the amazing places that we ended up going to. We went to, honestly, all of them, and it was amazing. We are currently headed to another one of your guys' suggestions, Not Not Tacos. I feel like everybody suggested we go there. We're on the way right now. All right, guys, so we are currently in line, and I just got, Gabby's trying to show off her shoes. <laughs> They're so fire. Here's the menu. I think, wait, are these in tacos? Yeah, they're in tacos. Sounds pretty good. Oh, Korean short rib, I'm getting that. I'm gonna get a salmon taco for sure. Here at Not Not Tacos on Taco Tuesday, so you know what that means, we got the special. Three tacos for $12, you guys. Hey, can you say Taco Tuesday like LeBron does? I don't know how. Babe, will you stand up real quick and let us see the fit? Like, you're making, you're making me proud today, babe, like, it's a vibe. We got the Syracuse Dunks, beautiful. Got the nice aging here. Guys, these were DS when I got them for her. 1999 pair. We have a pair of Levi's. Uh, these are 501s. We got the Minimal Roller Coaster Belt. Shout out Minimal, use my code Paul10. I'm not sure, I don't know info on the top, but if you guys wanna buy it, uh, yeah, DM her. And uh, rate her outfit right now, one to 10. It would be very helpful. And follow her, this is her pop tag right here. But be nice to her. Okay, everybody, it's Paul's turn to do the fit challenge. Here we go. Fear of God T. Go slow, because I'm, I'm not as fast as you. Go slow. Iridescent. These are Fear of God pants. And what about the shoes? These are Sakai. Wait, hang on, sorry. These are Sakai waffles. <laughs> That's it. What about the drip on your hand? All right guys, so we just got our food. It took a minute, it took about 20 minutes actually. And uh, you wanna hop in here? And uh, <laughs> got some tater tots. Look amazing, very fresh. And uh, what tacos did you get? I got a Korean, a Philly cheesesteak, and a... Lamb taco. Lamb taco. <laughs> and then for my tacos, I did the Philly cheesesteak as well. And then I did a macaroni and cheese with spicy pork. And then I did the Korean short rib taco as well. And these things look incredible. They smell amazing. It's been so lamb, you guys. Mm. I rate it. One to five with your hands. One to five with your hands. Five. Five out of five? Wow. I wonder what he's going to think. What is it? One out of five. Rate it. Five. What is that one again? Korean short rib. Korean short rib, everybody. Mm. No, no go on lamb. Mm -hmm. Can I try? It's not lamb. It's not. It's, that was the weirdest thing I've ever tasted. It was a cheeseburger. You oh, try you got the cheeseburger try one. Try it. It's cheeseburger. It's so different. I love cheeseburgers. It's not that it's bad. It's just that because I wasn't expecting that sensation or that taste in my mouth, it, it caught me off guard. That's really good. <laughs> it caught me off guard I though because I was off. I thought I was biting into like a normal taco and then it was a cheeseburger. All right, you guys. Second stop, coffee. Because Paul and I are obsessed. We're addicts. <laughs> we gotta get our fix. Yo, what is good guys? So we just got back into the car, have our coffee here. Shout out Lofty, everybody was really, really nice over there. Anyways, we are currently headed to Fashion Valley. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of light shopping. I'm not exactly sure what exactly we're searching for, but we kind of just had the itch to shop a little bit today. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Yo, what is good guys? So we just got here to the Fashion Valley Mall here in San Diego. And uh, we just realized there's a lot of good stores here uh, with potential. Today we're heading into, spin with me, hun. Drum roll, please. H&M, for the purposes of today's video, I feel like it would be helpful to some people to see if we can find some streetwear pieces that will be seamless to work into our wardrobes. So let's go ahead and head inside and see what we can find. All right, so we're gonna start out in the women's section. Okay, so we just found some pretty cool hoodies yep. for females. 
Yeah. It's like cropped and boxy and faded. Oh, it's a sweatsuit. Actually, this might be a vibe for hip hop. I think the gray would look really nice, babe. Gray with the dunks. Which one? Which one is it? <laughs> Say it. What's the discount code? Gabby 10. She said Gabby 10. All right, so we've been having a lot of luck in the women's section for guys. And uh, this is a pretty sick piece, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda got that canvas workwear vibe. Some nice hidden pockets here. What do you think, Gabby? Is that a uh, masculine enough for a guy to pull off? All right, you gonna try it on for us? I will say though, Gabs, the full fit is kind of a vibe. Like the cream. With the with the dunks. You know what? These are my favorite shoes right now. Really? Wow, that's a heavy statement. So. She's got a good rotation too. I have a pretty good rotation. Alright, so we got a size small on right now. And dude, this could absolutely be like an over shirt or like a shacket. Throw a hoodie underneath. This is a size small. This is very, very oversized. This is crazy. It's in the women's section actually, women's small. Like this is really, really oversized. Yeah, I tried on that extra small. But uh, yeah, this thing feels amazing. Like the, the fabric and stuff. You can wear a vintage tee under this. This would be a really, really good, Actually, good layering that's really piece. cute. I really like it. I think that that is definitely unisex. This is actually pretty fire. Gabs, Gabs, come here. Do you like this? A little tie-dye action. Got a little... Uh, I don't like it. Really? No go? This thing's actually pretty sick. Got a zipper flannel. I'm gonna try that on. Hey guys, so here is a flannel on body. I'm not gonna lie. For the price though, it's 40 bucks. I like it. It's pretty clean, I think right? It, looked, it would look good with a hoodie. Throw a hoodie under? Uh -huh. You wanna show what you got on right now? So, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people wear these hats. The bucket hat? The bucket hats. However, I've never worn one like, like physically. I'm gonna go get a hoodie. You can talk, you keep them entertained. Okay. This is a little bit better, I think. Oh yeah, this fits way better. <laughs> Wait, maybe it's a little big. How are these supposed to fit? Does anyone know? Comment below if you know how these are supposed to fit. Tight or loose. This is a little looser. This is a little tighter. Whoa. You tell me, you guys are the fashion boys out there. I need to know. Check these out. These are like totally Stone Island vibes. Like this is that, it's like that crinkly Stone Island material that they use. It's like really thin and like, I don't know, the fabric just gives off that like crinkly nylon look. And uh, yeah, this has a ton of potential. And this is just one of the things that I found. I found a ton of other stuff too. What would that look good with? Um, I probably wear this with like runners, like even with what I'm wearing right now, these shoes, cause I'm wearing nylon pants. Okay, so do you wear socks with those or? Socks? Uh, you could go either way, honestly, because it is a rip stop. So you can uh, tighten the hem up and you can wear it with like runners like I'm wearing now. Or if you're wearing like Jordans or like Dunks highs, you could just cover up the sneaker. A lot of people have been doing that lately. So H&M has always been known and been the go-to spot for like everyday basics, like hoodies, sweaters, plain tees and stuff. And they kind of got a pretty big name from it. But because of the lack of longevity and just the ability to like to really wear and wash this stuff time and time again, um, it didn't really take off like it should have. I mean, the stuff looks really good, but the quality has always been kind of subpar. So I just found another pair of cargos and I'm not gonna lie, these are pretty sick. They're from the log section of H&M. And uh, these look pretty good. Can you hold them, babe? Yeah, they look like they're gonna fit really, really nicely. You have the flat pockets, button closure, and they have like a worn look, kind of similar to the Old Navy ones, but these look like they're gonna fit really, really nicely. Priced at $35, a little bit lower than the Old Navy ones, so not too, too bad. And they actually come in a washed black color. Dude, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to get one of these. I think I like these because I already have 10 ones. So H&M's definitely coming through with the cargos because as you can see, these ones have the buttons on the flap, just like the ones in the log area over there. But these also have the rip stop, similar to the Stone Island-esque ones that we 
picked up. You're welcome, baby. All right, so we just got done, made our purchases. I'm very excited about what I did purchase. Actually, really excited to share with you guys what I did purchase. Gabby's got her cute little hat. That looks so adorable on you, you little cutie you. And it goes with the fit. I've been waiting all day for this hat. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're gonna transport over to the apartment and go over everything that I purchased. Yo, what is good everybody? So we're back here at the apartment and I did want to go over everything that I did end up purchasing at H&M. But before we get into the first piece, I did want to inform you guys about today's giveaway. So be sure to stay through the duration of this video to get some more info on that. Anyways, jumping into the first piece here. First up, we have here these olive green crinkly thin nylon pants. And guys, I have to say, I've never seen a fast fashion company. Actually, I haven't seen another company be able to kind of emulate that Stone Island thin crinkly nylon look. And H&M did it. I have to say, I'm very, very impressed. They're very lightweight, airy, very comfortable, fit really, really great. And of course, the fabric does have that crinkly nylon look, that aged nylon look. Looks really, really nice in person. I would highly, highly suggest you guys head over to H&M and give these a look. They're pretty fire. The price point on these is $34.99, which is honestly a little bit high in my opinion, at least from the divided blue section of H&M. I think these are really, really great, especially if you guys are trying to get that Stone Island look look no further than these this next purchase actually comes from the women's section of H&M and surprisingly enough I did size all the way down to a small I honestly do not understand the sizing system for this piece now keep in mind it is a woman's piece it's not a man's piece and I sized all the way down to a small there's a bunch of pieces that I get from H&M and I have to size up to like a large or an XL this is from the women's section and it's a small and it fits ginormous on me which is actually amazing. I love this piece. It is a chore jacket, fits oversized as I've already stated. It is comprised of both cotton and polyester, which actually gives it a very, very weighty feel, like it's actually heavy. Of course, a premium piece comes with a premium price tag. And for H&M, I feel like this is a little bit expensive, but it was $49.99, but in my humble opinion, I do believe it is very well worth it. Okay, so now on to the final item in this bag we have here a pair of cargo pants but this pair of pants is actually not for me they're for you guys and here is how to partake in today's giveaway first you need to be subscribed to the channel second like today's video third comment down below the code phrase we are locust nation with your ig handle and i will be selecting somebody at random to win these pair of pants be sure you followed all the instructions because i want these pants to go to somebody that actually watched the entire video and instagram is actually how i reach out to you guys so that's also very important also keep an eye on my instagram stories to see if you won today's giveaway but just a little bit about the pants these are the ones i actually found towards the end of the vlog they fit really really nice the reason why i picked these for the giveaways because i know not everybody likes nylon it's a bit more on the flashy side which is totally understandable so i decided to play it safe and get a really great fitting pair of standard cargos these things are awesome they have a bit more of a straight cut they're super versatile can fit a bunch of different sneakers and they actually have the ability to be tied at the ankle if you want to wear like say runners or something like that these cargos can complement those as well but yeah, overall, I love how these fit. These are a size 30, bear in mind. And uh, yeah, they're super fire. I highly suggest these as well. Definitely a very, very fire pair of cargos. Like, I highly suggest these. And now with all things considered, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button because it goes such a long way for us YouTubers. Guys, as always, thank you so much for the support, watching the videos, liking them commenting on them honestly it's insanely humbling to know that you guys continue to come back and support me so thank you so much to this amazing community i feel insanely blessed best of luck to everybody joining the giveaway and now as i end every video here at locust wild honey i'm gonna say peace and be blessed